around here this morning. So, I got bacon. I got biscuits going here. And I want to fry some ham too. I got about a smoked ham and I slice it up off the off the bone. Save the bone so it cuts uh that's not easy to slice for my beans. And I'm gonna fry some of that ham here in just a few minutes. This is gonna be for Lex and Connor. Well, I'm gonna have a bacon or two, but I got my coffee over here. So it's early. I wanna get out and get started on my do a little bit of work on my kitchen this morning out there. I got just a little bit. We gotta take Lex back to his mom today, so I'm not gonna get a lot done out there. I'm not gonna need a temp. I don't want to spend more time with him this morning or today. All right, so let me get this this going here. Uh, I uh, probably won't save this grease. I've got a whole container. It sure smells good. <laughs> Buster. But Woody, where you at, Woody? They right here beside me. I know, I know, baby, I know. You're probably both boys. That's my boys. Buster was good last night. No problems with it, Buster. No boogers last night with it, baby. Well, guys, I'm going to not be able to do a whole lot on my little uh, kitchen today because spend some time with Lex and uh, he goes back to his mom's today I am going to put the little piece over here on this corner that has to be there for, for this wall here to attach to and the piece over here and I'll get that done and if someone shows up I'm going to put this board up here in this slope where it goes for the for the siding in here to attach to. But that's if somebody else shows up that can hold it while I screw it in. Meantime, I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee. It's early and I'm gonna go feed up. And I see Breeze get their concrete work done today. It's awesome. I saw on her live, her dad out there with his uh, cheerleader boots on <laughs> white boots but I see another guy out there with white boots on so I guess you know, it's common things guys wear white boots these days yeah I guess it's common anyway I may get a chance to drive over and watch him do a little bit of work on that thing I don't know I got I got stuff to do here and I want to get back in and hang out with Lex I uh, made his breakfast and he's got up and he's eating he's in there talking with Kim and, and she Kim showed up and they visited in there for a little bit. And maybe I get back, started back on this thing tomorrow. I hope to. You know, it's all out of the weather, so it's be okay. Let's drive over and we'll drive across his yard. He'll probably say something about it. But I'm gonna do it. I'm his daddy. They do pretty work, don't they? See Dan walk around like he's in charge here. Oh, Dan knows his stuff, though. He uh, has big jobs doing, well, they're doing highways, so he goes out and checks on them. Every day, I guess. Highways and bridges. Interstate, airports, whatever. But that guy yonder got white boots on. I'm so proud to see somebody else with white boots. They can't make fun of my boy Dan. That's <laughs> my little boy Dan. Now, unless you start wearing white boots, I'm going to, I want to say something about it. Unless you're about like me, I, I told you yesterday when he came over to visit, 
I says, you, uh, tell him about his knees hurt. Yeah, I know, I know the feet of the sun. Okay. All you got to do is get a lot more chairs, space them around. <laughs> a lot of chairs. I uh, heard Dan and them say they come home, they tell where I worked that there'd be a chair sitting there somewhere. Because I do. Uh, my knees get to hurt. I'll sit down. And I'll sit for a little bit and I'll get up and do some more. I got an appointment, you know, I don't have the appointment yet. I've been referred to that surgeon to do my finger to look at my knees. And, and I, that's, that's not going to sure thing. I'm going to get anything done with it. I'm not going to. I'm just not sold on the knee replacement idea yet. It's not sold on it, guys. Uh, but I am going to let him look at the x-rays they took and, and we'll talk about it. And he told me there may be some other options without, you know, before he looks at the x-rays, he'll know more about it. Let's see. I know some folks, oh yeah, it worked good for me. And I've had some tell me horror stories. I don't want a horror story. I'd rather sit down now and then. <laughs> I'll just sit down now and then. Anyway, they do a great job. I'm not going to interfere with it. You know, we're messing with old Dan. That's why I got work to do. I'll get back and hang out with the Lex for a while. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, oh, you get more pitiful every day, son. What, what's the deal with you? Are you staying up too late at night and watching the late movie? Every morning you come out here with this little <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Alright, let me get your feed for you. I got it. Lord, here we'll go go here. Uh across the floor. It'll attach right here. I put this two by four in here to, to screw into and this siding on this wall on the inside will overlap. It'll be right on overlap right on top of this here. All the way to the ceiling. And that'll give something to, to put the siding on. Now the only problem with this board here on the floor is when you come to a door, we're going to cut it out. And I don't know exactly how stable either end of that wall is going to be. Uh, I don't want to bust my concrete up trying to drive a concrete nail into it, but we may have to do something similar to that. Depends if it moves around. Not. We're going to try to jam it in tight enough that it don't want to move once we cut this center section out. We'll see where the door will be, guys. Uh, I got a mess out here. G said, you need to clean up your mess before you finish. I said, I'm not finished, baby. It will get cleaned up when I get through. But uh, this is where the door's gonna go. I've done all I can do. We're gonna leave a little bit earlier, take uh, Lex back because he wants to stop somewhere and eat. And I'm gonna go in and take a shower rest a little bit before we go it's been a good morning i've got quite a bit done i guess and uh mainly the framing and uh we get the framing all done ben shows up on monday maybe we'll start putting the side and i think we put the side around i believe in one day if, if ben will come early enough and work hard enough we can get it I think with both of us, I can cut it, measure it and cut it, and he can hold it up there and I'll put the screws in it. All the way around. Oh, here comes that girl. Here comes them two girls. No, that's a girl and a boy. But it's not so bad. It's when it's two girls, it's, it's bad. We're gonna have girls next week. We're gonna have a bunch of girls, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid we have Colton and Carly in Bay, I think, for sure. And you know how all these neighbors are. Elora and Carter and Cash. I bet they all show up. It'll, it'll be a headache. 
here comes his papa home. Hey, babies. Y'all ready? Yeah, y'all ready for ride? I'm ready to go on the ride. Hey, <laughs> What's wrong? Don't play with her stuff, baby. That's her stuff. Good. Hey, we're not, uh -uh, uh, we're not going fast on the ride. Stop. Stop. Both of you sit back and get a buckle up. Sit back. Oh, girls. Girls. Y'all don't hear my little boys fussing, do y'all? Sit down. Get down. So I'm going to buckle you up. Come on, kid. Get up. No, we don't have spots. We don't have spots. Popo's the only one's got a spot. Okay? Popo. No. Hey. Well, I'm going to sit there. You're going to sit there beside for me, Ivan. I'm serious. I've got two little girls, fussy pots, and three little happy boys. Well, Kip is not happy because Lex just went home to his mom, and he's so sad. I'm uh, she don't like Kippy to ride in her car, because Kippy shares like crazy. But she said, Lex, Lex said, I'm gonna take Kippy and Jason. Okay, anybody else couldn't get by with that. Uh, guys, I may not get y'all's gifts as good as that tonight, but I may, there's a lot to go through. We just got home. I don't ride. Yes, she does. It'll be a fun ride. Uh, we just got home, we had to stop. Uh, Dustin had a friend pass away and they were going to the funeral home and he called us and said, could we meet him in Splendora? Are you, are you we go to the visitation. So we come on up through Splendora. Uh, I'm talking to the And uh, Moses, don't go through that gate. Dan's got the gate open. Don't go through it, okay? Do not go through that gate. Dan, open. Oh, yeah, what y'all say, cow poop? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. A cow is a cow. Is, is that something right there? Cow poop. What is it? It's a cow poop. Cow poop? That's a cow. From those cows. Yes, it is. Those cows did it. Not miracle. These cows. These cows are guilty of cow poop. These cows. These cows right here. They're guilty. Well, look over here. Oh, hey, more cat poop. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And the hood too. Yeah. Okay. Let's get away from the cat poop. We have to make this big decision. Yeah, there's a bad. 
it'll stand back up. First rain, it'll, it'll wash any of the mud stuff off of it. It's not really muddy, but what's on there, it will wash it off. All right, guys, I'm gonna, Woody, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video off, okay? Because you're hot, I'm hot, Bubbo's tired. We took Lex back, and well, we've been back at least an hour, I guess, and uh, the little girls brought them home with us, and then uh, there was someone down at Logan's, and you know, we kind of watch it for him, so I drive down and uh, make sure everything's okay, and it was it was okay. And Logan had contacted me about a guy going to drop some stuff off, <clears throat> so it was the same guy, and everything was okay. And well, Logan called me, and we talked about it, and had a good laugh. He says he's going to be back in about a month. He's about about a month left up there, and he misses coming home. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I think Ben and I, Ben shows up. We'll be able to finish this uh, siding, I think, in a day's time. 
Now I'll still come back and do some trim on my own. I'll do some trim work and the countertops I can do myself and the door and all that kind of stuff. I, I can do all that myself. It's just I can't hold that full sheets up and screw them at the same time, even though I got to cut some of them off, cut a little off each end. I still can't hold them by myself and screw them in. But if he shows up on Monday early enough, we'll get it done. And then I can finish the rest of it myself. Uh, as to Saturday's gifts, I will try to uh, do them tomorrow and get them out to you maybe on Monday. Uh, Monday morning. it would be kind of off, off kilter, but I just run out of time today. I run out of energy. That drive was about two hours in heavy, heavy traffic, bumper to bumper, on the way home. It was horrible. She says, ah, oh, this is a miserable drive. <laughs> yeah, mainly miserable because we dropped our boy off and didn't, didn't have him with us. And little old Kippy was so sad. We drove off and met his mom at, at her school. Lex got out of little Kippy, hung, stood by the car window all the way out of the parking lot down the street looking back. It's so sad. And then he crawled up there and got in G's lap for her to comfort him. And he said, here is Papa right now. He ain't got his boy, he got his Papa. <laughs> He'll be back sleeping with me tonight. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off and get down to you guys. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hit the like button, share it with somebody. And uh, we're going to get caught up on our gifts and goodies, okay? We will. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Oh, and by the way, if you don't understand the little old girls, you, you probably, a lot, a lot of you guys understand more what they're saying than I do. And sometimes I'm talking and they just rattling away. And then when I listen to the tape later, I hear all the stuff they're saying. It's a lot of some very comical. <laughs> From the cow poop to the something hanging on that bull. <laughs> and I think I heard... Coat and Bear says it's his TT. <laughs> uh, and like one day, uh, I may have told y'all this, G was changing a little cash, his pull up, and Coda was here. She walked in, she did, she said, Oh, he's got a tail. <laughs> I love it. I'll catch you guys later.